As communists, we're concerned with the progress of humanity. Today, it would be possible to meet the basic needs of everyone. Yet the vast majority of people live in poverty, while a small minority has unprecedented wealth. We're here on a contingent together to say that social housing is a right, here to stay, here to fight. Imperialism has divided the world into oppressed and oppressor nations. Millions of people around the world are exploited to ensure the prosperity and social stability of the imperialist nations. But even the super profits run from the oppressed are no longer enough to bolster this crisis-ridden system. The ruling classes are increasingly forced to attack the working class in the imperialist nations as well. Social housing is a right, is a right, is a right. Social housing is a right, you're the privilege. Britain, the oldest imperialist country in the world, still maintains its position as a major imperialist power, second only to the United States. The banking system and the corporations based in the city of London represent a parasitic and decaying capitalism. We've got to begin to build our own independent working class organisation to fight back against the biggest attack mounted on working class people in this country. British international investments amount to around six times Britain's GDP. The gigantic usury capital of the financial services sector, supported by military and political power, determines the lives and futures of millions of people, enforcing war, racism and death. The police are guarding the places where the rich and privileged shop and eat because that's what this state represents. The RCG believes that for human society to progress or even survive, capitalism must be destroyed. The only alternative is socialism, a conscious and organised society based on cooperation and the full development of every individual rather than privileges for a few. Labour, Tory, all the same, they all play the banker's game. I think it's uh, really important to understand that we live in an imperialist country. This is absolutely central to the character and nature of politics in this country. The monopoly profits and the super exploitation of oppressed nations throughout the world have made it possible to split the working class into privileged and less privileged sections. The upper stratum of the working class politically dominates the British labour movement and ties it to imperialism, the economic foundation of its status and privileges. The labour aristocracy expresses itself politically through the Labour Party and it controls the trade union movement. History shows its cowardice, betrayal, racism, support for war, phony patriotism and compromise with the ruling class. The RCG therefore stands for a complete break with the British Labour Party. So why should we support this anti-working class, capitalist, social democratic, bourgeois, warmongering, pro-cuts party? Labour Party! When I say Labour Party, you say War Party! We stand against racism and fascism. We support the right to self-defence against racist attacks. We oppose all the immigration controls and organise against deportations and immigration prisons. We oppose all discrimination on grounds of ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, age or disability. The RCG supports the struggle to defend the environment and develop a sustainable way of life through collective planning. We demand free, universal social welfare provision, including health care and education. The RCG supports oppressed nations struggling for self-determination and demands the immediate withdrawal of British and all imperialist troops from around the world. We support the Palestinian resistance and oppose the continuing occupation of Ireland. We actively defend the Cuban Revolution and the Bolivarian movement for anti-imperialist unity between Latin American countries. We stand for the creation of a society organised to meet the needs of the entire population. The current crisis of imperialism will transform the political landscape so that the ruling class is increasingly unable to buy off so great a section of the working class. Meanwhile, around the world, movements of resistance and revolution are on the rise. This is the time when social economic developments are creating the conditions for building a socialist, anti-imperialist, anti-racist movement here in this country. Get in together, get in organised, 
and fighting for individuals is exactly what we should be doing, but we are doing it, and we are victorious, we will be victorious, we are having victory, it's a good thing. We don't accept austerity, we don't accept your lies, and we don't accept your racism, your imperialism, your lawmaking.